Nature has been the giver, and man has only been the taker so far. He didn't want to understand that he has to give back, to continue the delicate dynamic balance of life and nature crucial for his very existence. This selfishness has caused enough damage in the form of pollution, water shortage, global warming, and many more. And hence, the whole human race is suffering now. Some parts of the world are highly developed with highest per capita emissions, while other parts of the world, including India, are still grappling with minimum HDI, Human Development Index. To reach the minimum HDI, we have to set development goals. But again, even the minimum development goals will produce emissions in large quantities because of the sheer numbers of the population below minimum HDI in the world. Housing is one of the basic needs in the development goals. The building sector in any country is the highest polluter. Hence, to fulfill the development goals, we need to find sustainable solutions. Hi, I'm architect Neela Manjanath from Bangalore, India. I have been practicing for the last 29 years, searching for sustainable solutions for the building sector with innovation in design, materials and technologies. In my quest, I chanced upon this wonder material bamboo in 1999 and a quick research on the traditional use of bamboo in buildings, its availability, population, housing deficit, and the other occurrences resulted in these findings. One can clearly see that bamboo could be a natural solution for mass housing and community amenity buildings for areas rich in bamboo. India is the second largest producer of bamboo in the world and also with the second highest population. Bamboo building is up to 7.1 times more sustainable than a concrete building. Hence, I set upon to mainstream bamboo as a building material. 17 years now, it has been a very difficult journey because of non-availability of database, professional help, standards, a willing workforce to work on the material, and most importantly, clients. To create a database, I began prototyping every building I did through research and development on my own for a variety and range of projects. I tried to bring in a different structural system and vocabulary for each project. To create a workforce, I started a trust CGBMT, Center for Green Building Materials and Technology, in 2004. Through CGPMT, we do research, awareness building through exhibitions and seminars, and skill development through workshops, structured courses, etc. for all levels. Now, Jalbag University has joined us in our skill development efforts. I have been invited to showcase our journey at the prestigious International Architecture Exhibition, Venice Biennale 2016, starting in May in Venice. Promoting Bamboo at the Venice Biennale will be the best opportunity to rebrand Bamboo as a desirable material for which social acceptability has been our major battle so far. Come lend us a hand in taking our mission to the Venice Biennale 2016. We believe that this will help us in achieving our environmental goals along with the development goals for a very large population of the world, that of all humanity.